Okay, y'all, I got a new cup turner. So I'm gonna show you what comes in the box. Um, you get, obviously you get the turner itself which is pretty cool. It's got this really like super long cord. It's almost six feet long. It's like really cool. It's got, um, it's heavy, which is awesome because you won't have to um, worry about it like tilting or anything when you're working with it. Although you can screw it down if you choose to. I won't do that because um, I like to move my stuff when I need to. It's got, it's covered. Like the power button's covered. Y'all, I've epoxied my power button before. So um, trust me, this is an amazing feature to have on a turner. So, um, and then it's got, you know, obviously your, your arm your thing hooks on. Oops, knock that over. Okay, so you also get some cups for mixing your epoxy. Um, I use fast set and I also use regular epoxy. So having four of these is pretty cool because I can use this for fast set and this for regular. And also you can label them A and B, which you want to do to make sure that you don't mix those up. Um, and then you have your, you get four of these. I have one right here on this cup because I'm going to do this cup in a little while so I can show you guys how it works. But you get um, a big one, a medium size, and then a big one and a small size in the foam. So this is great because I have some of these from a different company and they're, they're almost too big. This one almost fits perfectly into this 30 ounce right here. And it's very snug and secure. You can see it's not gonna fall off or anything like that. So, and it comes with these stands you get three of these with the arms, and um, that you just put them down in it, and you can just set it down, and it stays up like that, which is pretty cool. So you have that, and let's see what else is in here. So you've got like all your sizes you need of all this stuff, all of your inserts. Um, you have oh, this is a silicone mat. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I don't have one of these. I use like this stuff I buy at Lowe's that I just cover my table with and then I rip it off and throw it away and then recover it every so often. But this is an actual silicone mat, which means that when I drip epoxy, I can just peel it off and reuse this. So, wow, I'm excited about this. This is pretty cool. And then um, two more arms, another stand. So you get three stands and three arms. Um, and I'm super excited about these stands, y'all, because like these are like when you're glittering and you're waiting for it to dry and all that, it's like to put it on your turner can be annoying. So have a stand for it to do that is pretty cool. Um, and then this is some um, tape to, I'm not sure, let's see. Oh, this is just some tape, I guess, to hold like things on down or take off your turner or whatever. Um, these are, your instructions, they're doing a $50 gift card giveaway. Um, so that's pretty cool. It gives you instructions on how to set it up and all that stuff. And then you have this silicone brush, which is pretty awesome. These are great for water slides when you're applying water slides to your tumblers. So that is what you get. And oh, they even sent screws. Wow. Just in case I needed to screw my tumbler down or my turner down to the table. They sent the screws that I could do that with, which I won't be doing, but hey, I'll put those screws up and use them for something else for sure. So that's good. So that is the actual tumbler um, or the turner itself. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to do a cup so that you guys can see like how easy it is to glitter your cup with these stands and then also to get your cup on the turner and get it going and all of that good stuff. Okay guys, so here's what I've done. I have inserted my foam insert. I've used my arm to hold it and I've spray painted my cup already so it's ready to go. So now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to just um, utilize your arm as you're letting your glitter dry and to um, actually glitter this with this arm so it's and it's super solid like it's not coming off of here like there's it's it's 
you can pull it off if you you can pull it out pretty simple but when you stick it down in there it balances really nicely it hits the center pretty easily you stick your arm in oh you also want to make sure you put the arm in with the with the little square hookup part facing out and you just stick it in there and it is ready to go. And I can go ahead and pull this out a little bit for my glittering and then push it back in when I'm ready to put it on the turner. So I'm gonna do that. So um, I am going to glitter this cup. So I can show you guys how this works. There we go. Sometimes it gets clogged. I, use, I just put my Mod Podge in this bottle, so. Um, and I'm just gonna paint it on with my makeup brush, which I'll get at Dollar Tree. They're cheap. And then I'm going to take my purple glitter and ombre that down. All right, and look at that beautiful ombre. But you know what? Normally I would be trying to like uh, working to slip it onto my tumbler and and spin it to screw it on and all that stuff. But I don't have to do that because now I can just pull this little stand and I can just stick it on there like that. And you can even tap it and it'll knock off that extra glitter and just let it sit there and dry. And then once it's dry, you can seal it and get it on the tumbler, which is what we're gonna do next. Okay, so this is glittered and dried and sealed, and I am going to now um, use the two cups or two of the four cups that came in the box, and I've labeled them A Fast and B Fast because I'm gonna use my Fast Set Epoxy. Um, so I've labeled them so that I know which is which. This is a 30 ounce cup, so I'm gonna use uh, 20 ounce, 20, 20 mLs of each, cause it is chunky glitter. So I wanna make sure that I cover it well. All right, so my epoxy has now been mixed and is already warm because it is fast set epoxy, so it gets hot, it warms up and starts to thicken up pretty quick. So, um, so now I'm just gonna take this off the stand. It's already ready to go on my turner. So I'm just going to put it on the turner. There's no locking mechanism or anything and turn the turner on. And as you can see, it's incredibly quiet like super quiet. My other turner that I bought off of Etsy from someone that's, um, that makes them is an amazing turner, I love it. Um, but it does make quite a bit of noise. And um, so it's nice to have a quiet turner. So I put my silicone mat down so that I wouldn't get any epoxy on my cutting uh, mat or cutting board that I use. And I'm just going to pour, and I'm gonna turn this actually, I'm gonna turn this a different direction. I'm gonna turn it like this so I can do a flood coat and it'll be much easier to do that when it's like this. All right, so which is the reason that I don't screw it down because I change directions a lot when I'm doing my stuff, I, depending on what I wanna do. So I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna make it switch directions that's another thing that this does is it goes both directions, which is pretty cool. And I'm a right-handed person, so I want to do this flood coat where it's turning towards my right hand. And so I'm just gonna drop it on there and then just let it flow over. It does, um, I think, four RPMs, which is great for doing a flood coat because you don't have to be super quick. It will it's pretty easy to keep up with. All 
there you have it. The Globius Tumbler Turner, and I think they call them cup tisseries. So anyway, it's really good. I like it. I'm really happy with it. So 